on Northeast 3rd Avenue in downtown Miami um, for a project called Taste of Avenue 3. Um, and so we are out here as a part of our Miami-Dade Transportation Quick Build program. We are painting the parking lanes and also installing some parklets. And the idea is to highlight area on the street that could be used for pedestrians instead of just for cars. Right click, right click where it says. So we're installing the first parklet in Miami. Basically, it's going to serve as a extra seating area for the restaurant that's here and also uh, some seating for some of the pedestrians that are passing by. This is an absolutely fantastic project that Street Plans is doing right here because, you know, I remember this street before and, you know, it was all parking. Now all of a sudden it's a nice peaceful area where, you know, it's bright, it's colorful, it's a nice place to be. It's already creating a little bit more of an environment where pedestrians are kind of the ones that are prioritized. The last year I've worked very much full-time as a retired gentleman, creating the vision for Avenue 3. And we wanted to avoid digging up the street and widening the sidewalks through construction. Avenue 3 Miami is kind of a long-term initiative. And so this is kind of the first activation for that long-term project. Um, and so we're at the demonstration part of that sequence. The change from car-oriented streets to pedestrian-oriented streets happens in every major city because we can't continue to cater just to cars. People now choose to live downtown, and they live, as I do, without a car and use public transportation every day. This is my backyard. Well, that's what Miami needs more of, is making our, our downtown a livable place for people and not just for cars. Um, and so things like this that actually make people stop, pause, and have a seat and enjoy their city is really what we need to see more of in Miami.